Greetings, I'm Professor K. And in this short video presentation, we're going to see how we go about conducting a wireless deauthentication attack. Let's go ahead and get the legalities out of the way. It is unlawful, illegal to hack into any wireless network you do not own or have permission to hack. Students should only hack into their wireless networks. This school nor the instructor is liable for any damage or other harmful consequences using information in this lab. It is at your own risk if you undertake any illegal action based on the information in this lab. Now, deauthenticating a user from your wireless network can be done for a number of reasons. You may have children and it's time for them to be off of the wireless and you catch them on the wireless after hours and now you just want to go ahead and kick them off so they can get some sleep. There may be times when you have an unauthorized user or you recognize a device as not being part of your network and you want to remove it. Using my Kali terminal, we're going to begin by checking to see if I have a wireless network adapter attached that we can actually do this deauthentication attack with. So I've typed in airmon-ng. Now we can also get the same results or something similar using iwconfig up inside of the terminal. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And it tells me that I do have a wireless LAN adapter that is available. We next need to put this wireless adapter into monitor mode. To do this, I'm going to use airmon-ng space start WLAN0, which is the name of my wireless adapter. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. Give it a second. And it comes up and it tells me that my wireless adapter has now been put into monitor mode. Now also note that the name of the wireless adapter has been changed to WLAN0MON. Let's go ahead and clear the terminal. On this next command, we're going to start the monitoring process. And for this command, I've typed in air odump dash ng space WLAN0MON. Let's go ahead and hit enter. And it immediately begins to pick up wireless networks and clients that are associated with those wireless networks that are in the vicinity of my wireless adapter. For this demonstration, I have associated my laptop with my wireless network that's currently running inside of my location. The name of this network is Sky Broadband 8 Echo 96. That is the name of the base station. This over here is going to be the MAC address of the base station. Here is the client that is currently associated with that base station that I am going to de-authenticate. So the first thing we have to do is to do a control break or a control C to stop the monitoring so I can get a command prompt. So now that I have the base station MAC address, and the channel that it's currently operating on, I'm going to go ahead and monitor that base station directly and not worry about the other ones. So I've typed in arrow dumps dash ng space dash dash channel and now I'm going to type in the channel number. Now remember that this is important because this is the station that we want to monitor and we don't want to have to fumble through all these different channels. We know that that base station is operating on channel 1 from the results of our initial scan. Now the BSSID is the MAC address of that particular access point or base station. And I'm telling it that I want you to use WLAN0MON to monitor this access point or base station. Let's go ahead and hit enter. And it comes back up and it's now showing me just the results of a scan for that particular base station. And you also see that I have two clients that are currently attached and authenticated to the base station. Again, we need to get back to a command prompt, so let's do a control C. This next tool is called Airplay ng, and it is used to inject packets into the network. So in this case, I'm going to use Airplay ng space dash dash deauth. Now this deauth is going to send out any number of goodbye packets to allow the network to kick the client off. In this case, this client right here. 
Now we know the MAC address of the base station. That's right here. And we're telling it to send out 2,000 of these goodbye packets. All right, so we got everything set up in here. The arrow play, dash ng, space, dash, dash, d off, space, followed by the number of goodbye packets, space, dash a, which is the MAC address of the base station or the access point, followed by a space and a dash c, which is the client's MAC address. Then it's followed by the interface that I want to use to send out these goodbye packets. So let's go ahead and hit enter. Now it's going to take a few seconds for enough of these packets to be sent over to this wireless client to kick it off, but it will get kicked off eventually, so you have to be patient. I'm going to again hit a control C to stop the sequence, and we'll type in clear down there at the bottom. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and again we're going to monitor that same network and see if that client is still available. Give it a couple of seconds to refresh. And I no longer see the client as being available on my network. So we can assume that the attack was successful. The one remaining client has showed back up, but the laptop that I deauthenticated is not back on the network. And so that's going to conclude this short video presentation on how we go about conducting a wireless deauthentication attack. Have any questions or you have any concerns, don't hesitate to reach out and contact your instructor. And I'll see you in my next video.